Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is a crazy, crazy place we have here. Absolutely crazy, insane. Now, honestly, I, I built this lookout tower here and it's it's been a few weeks since I've actually played this game. Oh, okay, that's not how you get on a ladder. The ladders are very finicky in this game. Um, anyways, yeah, it's been a few weeks since I played. I tried to get um, as many videos out as I could. I'll try, I have the jetpack on. I gotta remember that. Uh, but yeah, so I've completely forgotten what the point of this whole thing is. I know I was making a bunch of screws, which is awesome. We're getting lots and lots of screws very quickly. But I think what I wanted to do was build the plates, if I'm not mistaken. If I go in here... Hang on a second. I wanted to make something that was fully made out of um, iron, didn't I? Okay, so it's not made in here. It's made in the other one. Should we go in here? in the assembler I believe let's just make one of these real quick so I think I wanted to make these bolted frames and I think did I decide on making these ones or these ones this takes six and twelve this takes this makes three though so this is gonna be a lot faster it takes more screws to make though but it will be a lot faster because it takes 12 seconds but it's making three so we could probably go for this so we need to get another side of the factory making these plates, basically. Those, uh, iron plates. So, what do we need to do with that? The iron plates take three of those, and it makes two iron plates. Okay, and it takes six seconds. Right. So, if we go downstairs really quickly... Obviously, we're, we got the paint gun out last episode as well, and started painting things. Everything's looking pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. We can see through the windows. Nice. Okay, so um, I have this set up for more iron to go up. So we're using those two there. So we actually have a whole segment here free uh, of these smelters making a lot of iron. It's just two smelters, I believe, because we have six here. Yeah. And that's just one side of this. I mean, we could get so much iron out of this machine. It's insane. But uh, anyway, the power grid, I think, is holding up pretty fine. Max is 17, and we're using about 1,000. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we could actually expand this further. So what I'm going to do is use this iron going up here. Um, I will have to rearrange this so that this is over here and going out there. Hopefully this pole is not in the way, otherwise we might have to just move it a little bit. But yeah, that's looking cool. Okay, so let's get this iron up to the top, first of all. And then once it's up there, I think we'll try and designate some space to make some plates so that we can use this side of the factory to make those bolts of plates. Hopefully this is enough iron to do it. If it's not, we'll, uh, we'll sort something out. So we can just fly up to the top here. Nice. So what we want to do is get this out of here. And I suppose we want to use this space here to build all of this out. So let's build ourselves a nice large platform. Um, I'm not sure what's in my inventory, so I might be running out of stuff. I do have a thousand of this, of the concrete, so I can make a bunch of platforms here. But that is awesome. Let's do that. And then once this is all done, we can actually start building. Although I don't want to make this factory much wider, do I? Um, hmm, that's an interesting point, actually. The fact of the matter is, guys, we kind of have to make it wider, so that's what we're doing. Let's set this up, and uh, let's just quickly see how much iron is coming up, because I've completely forgotten all the ratios and things since it's been a while. And uh, we'll go from there, I think. Okay, let's make this one more wide here. And then, yeah, okay. Let me get this iron coming up to here, and then we'll see what we need to do about it in order to ratio it perfectly. Because these are using the exact amount of iron. Like, this this thing here will never stop. It'll just perfectly go, and there will never be a spot over there where a machine's not working. Everything here is set up perfectly. So as soon as this runs out, another one gets put in. So it just stays at one. It's fantastic. Okay, right, let's do it. I'm talking rubbish now. Alrighty, just painting these last couple of machines blue. There we go. That is all looking pretty fancy. Okay, right. So what I've actually done, guys, is set up a whole bunch of stuff here. We have another six smelters going on here, because I don't think these two are going to be enough. I didn't actually do the calculations, but I'm almost certain that's not enough to keep up with this amount of screws to make the uh, plates. But anyways, what's going to happen is this has come up here, the original last smelter. 
got that connected up to these two here, which are going to be making iron plates, which for now I guess we'll just put in another container over here. Uh, we'll just make this a bit messy for now. Let's just turn this around here. Uh, I suppose we'll just place it here for now. So all of this stuff can come. I don't think it's going to be making it any faster than um, I think. They're going to make, be making 20 a minute, I believe. 20 per minute, yeah. 20 per minute, okay. So we just need a merger over here for now. Uh, logistics. Let's get ourselves a merger. Look at that here. Oh, we need to get the bed. Okay. So that is just fine. Get that hooked up now. I'm just going to messily hook this up because it's not permanent. Everything else is going in nice curved lines and things. But for those, that's going to go like that. I need to bring the power over here. This should all be lined up like this is lined up with this one. Um, and then I'm going to bring the other six smelters up here, but I don't think I'm going to need all of them. So I need to do some thinking, some ratioing, but it looks like we need 30 per minute. So that is going to take from one smelter. So two of these will take from one smelter and then that's going to be making 20 per minute. And how much are we making? How many screws are we making a minute over here? I, I lost calculation. I really did. So it should be 40 times however many machines it is. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. I think we have six machines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, 12 times 40. So we're making 480. I think I did some calculations for this. Figuring out how much I'd need. And I was thinking I would have to turn one of these machines down slightly to get to like 460 or something, because that's how many we'd need to make what I wanted to make. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember, guys. It's getting messy in my head now. But anyways, let's um, let's see. Okay, let's 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 do some more calculations then. Uh, it was the assembler, wasn't it? Let's stick this down. If we wanted to make these, that'd be 50. If you click on that, you need 250 screws a minute and 90 iron plates per minute. Okay, so if you were to do it the other way, yeah, I think I did this one. This is what I was going to go for in the end. I think I didn't decide to do that at the recipe because 60 sounds about right with my calculations. I think I remember in my head. Does any of this make any sense? It doesn't make any sense to me, so never mind. Anyway, we need 30 per minute. So if we did... If I'm making... F hang on. Hang on, brain. Come on, brain. Do something. Okay, guys. I have worked it out. I will need eight assemblers to keep up with the amount of screws we're making, which means we need eight time times 30 iron plates per minute. So if we look over here, this makes 20. So basically we need 12, um, we need 12 constructors to be making the plates that we need. So actually all that iron might not be enough. So it's the plates that are gonna hold us up at this stage. That's interesting. What I'm gonna do is just get a bunch of these and place them along here. Let's make sure they're facing the right way. Place them where we can. And I'm just gonna try and get enough iron to these. This is redonkulous, actually. We need 12 of these. I mean, we could set it up with the uh, things. The things that make everything go faster, but I think that would be a little bit silly. So, yeah, I'm going to run out of space here pretty quickly. So, actually, what I'm going to do is actually take this out. I'm going to do two and then have a space for a thing to go through. And then we can put more. So we'll have six here like this. Uh, place you there and then we'll have a line of iron coming through and then we'll put some more of these in and they'll all go into the big machine over here which is going to be okay this has got to be almost full holy that's so many screws that is insane um it'll all go into the big assembler thing over here which did i say i needed eight assemblers to keep up with that many screws i think i did so it's going to be eight assemblers and that means we need what well, constructors i believe hopefully i've done the math correctly that would uh, that would be ideal all right let's uh let's get these set up then these constructors yeah we'll do six here and then six in front of them that will make that'll make sense hopefully i can fit all the lines in and stuff yes okay <laughs> hopefully okay guys it is it is crazy up here so what i've done uh this is the only one that's currently hooked up it's actually started working since i hooked the power up 
so what we have is that coming into a splitter here goes into two of these uh, constructors. Yes, that's what they're called. Then we have the next one will go through the middle of those two constructors. So I left a little gap here and that's going to go to a splitter which is going to go to these two constructors. So we have managed to fit all six constructors in a smaller area than I was uh, going to do before. So that is pretty cool. That's pretty fantastic. So that happens three times. So we have another splitter here going to those two. Then we have one going through the middle there. Then we have a splitter going to those ones. And then we have one coming through the middle here. But obviously there's not any on this side. And that goes into a splitter here. Splits off. And now we have uh, the 12 that we need. The 12 uh, constructors that we need. So all we need to do now is uh, what I've done is I've put all these windows here. So I know how many smelters I need to hook up to this. So we've got one already. Now I need one so that every one of these is two smelters as well. So that's, uh, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. I'm going to need 12 smelters. Okay. I think that's going to be the rest of my iron. Although, um, I could go and see how quick I can make those things. I might be able to split this up even better and have more uh, smelters going, which is just insane. It's absolutely insane, my friends. All right. So we have eight smelters. We need another four to get this whole setup going. That's pretty insane. That is absolutely insane. Um, I can just drop down here. So, yes, we have those two smelters there, plus these six here. And that is coming from... These six here are going to be fed by this one here. So, I may need to I may need to speed it up so that we can have um, another four smelters. Um, I left a big gap here. I'm going to have a bit of a road here. What I think I'll do is actually lift this up so I can drive underneath it. Uh, when I get, like, cars and trains and all sorts of things coming through. So, yeah. All right. That sounds pretty cool to me. Let's let's try and figure out some more math. That's what I'm gonna do off camera, guys. Some more math. Figure out how much I can get out iron I can get out of the uh, the miner down below, and see if we can get uh, 12 of these hooked up. That would be that'd be pretty cool. Somehow, my friends, somehow we have done it. It was actually pretty easy, actually. So I knew I knew that I had those two furnaces there going, and I needed another tin, right? So I put tin down here, and then I went downstairs, and a fully maxed out Mark II smelter makes exactly 300. And these do 30 at a time. So you need 30 a minute. So that's fantastic. That is how we're going to do that. So what we need to do is hook this up. No, we should be getting mark four for this if we hook this up over here there we go and you can see it's all hooked up it's going crazy we are sorting it now we are splitting it once here which goes into two machines and then the third line goes into splits into three machines there that keeps them all filled up these should all be filling up nice and quickly and yeah, that's going to make exactly enough once this all fills up. So I'm just going to let those fill up. Then we need to get that organized onto this side. I need to start bringing them up to the top, which is insane. So at the top, I can see where I need to bring them up. So some of these I'm going to have to change. So like this door, for instance, got to go. Uh, it needs to be one of those. We're going to have to get that and place that in there. And we need to get 60 iron ingots coming through each one of these holes so yeah we need one more here so that's two machines going into each of these holes i will make this whole side look a lot better once we're done but as you can see i need to build these things we can just build these basic ones which is good uh so if i just click here we can get these ones here go like that bring you up let's see i think that's correct it's really hard to see what height we're at, but I think we've got it. Yeah, it looks like we... No. I've gone one too high there, haven't I? Yes, one too high. Okay. That's super annoying, my friends. But, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is attach all of these, I think, there. Is that going to be it? Okay, I've got it that time. Let's, let's get all these hooked up and into the machines above. Okay, so those are all hooked up there. Now we need to work out a system... Um, somehow we're going to have to get these sorted out. I mean, yeah, you know what? Let's quickly shoot these blue because it's kind of annoying that they're not blue. But apart from that, everything's okay. All right, let's go here. So these two need to come over to this one. And then the next two need to go to this one. And somehow we need to fit that in here with this tiny little space. I'm going to do my best, my friends. So now we can use the Mark 1 belts. So that's good. We can get these coming around on nice sharp corners. So if we put a tiny piece of track here the smallest piece of track we can and we can probably put a merger right there let's see put a merger 
Can we click right on there? Looks like we can. And then that will come over here. Um, we kind of want to go down here. Can we put like a nice lean on this? That looks okay, doesn't it, my friends? There we go. We get that going to the top. And then all we have to do is get this in here. Put that on a nice curve. And that will not go in. Why won't you go in? Oh, it's hitting that. Is it hitting the machine there? Wait, is this machine not lined up? It looked like they're lined up. Why is my flashlight still on? I think it's hitting this machine here. So we're going to have to move this out just a little bit. Okay, but anyways, you get the idea. Somehow we've got to cram this in and get all of these going into these up to the top. And then I can fill in these windows and stuff like that. These, these elevator things are so damn awesome. Okay, give me a few minutes, guys. This is going to take a little bit of brain power to get this all fit, fitted in nicely. Okay, my friends, that is the last one hooked up. It's a little bit messy down here, but as you can see, it all fits in, and that's all fantastically going up to top. Please make it, please make it, please make it. Aha, we made it. Okay, so that should come up this line and get on with it. Everything should be going up here now. Yep, looks like there's a bunch of plates waiting around to go into some uh, assemblers. Okay, so I think we have enough now. Uh, that is making a crazy amount of plates. Right, so we have... 8 times 20 of these. Okay, very cool, very cool. We're making a lot of plates, my friends. A lot of plates indeed. That is that is awesome. Okay, uh, now uh, where are we going to store all these screws while I'm doing this? I don't know. Okay, we need to move these screws to somewhere else because now they're in the way. Um, I want to start placing in the things here. So we need to make a track. Oh, this is nuts. Let me Let me place down what we're going to make with the assembler make with what is my english doing okay so we have two inputs like this and we want to line these machines up how many machines did i say assemblers did i say uh if we're gonna make these ones or these ones i think we said these ones so if we clicked on this it was 60 screws a minute and 30 plates per minute okay we have to get 60 screws into each of these machines per minute okay um, one of these has to be screws and one has to be these plates. So I'm thinking we try and get all of these plates into one line over here and then we maybe into two lines. We put the plates into two lines possibly. Just like these are in two lines. And then get them running from... I just... It, this, it's going to be an absolute mess if I don't do this properly. That's the only problem. So I need to think this through before we start placing anything down. I want to get like... Let's say we did this in here. And then we could lift it up a bit. And then all the screws could go at that height. And there could be just splitters here. Off that like so. So if we get a splitter. Go down here. We could just put a splitter right there. And then the line could carry on down that way. If it was going that way. Um, yeah, that could work. Okay, and then these ones could just be on the lower... Uh, the plates, for instance, could just be on the lower end here. And we could have a split it down here. Going that way as well. Okay, I think that could work. That is possible, my friends. Okay, it's crazy, but uh, yeah, let me let me work it out. I think we can... I think we've got we've got a good idea here. Alrighty guys, this is absolutely crazy, but I'm getting there. I need to hook the power up to these things, which I think I'll do through the middle here. Um, I'll put a power pole, I suppose, on top of these, maybe? Let's see what we can do. Um, if I press 1, I might need to use the more expensive power poles, but it doesn't look like I can place it there. Okay, so I'll go for the cheaper ones on each one then. That is okay. So, uh, anyways, let's show you what I've done. Everything is mental guys absolutely crazy so we have the screws coming along here they have divided into two paths already so it's easy i can just split them off onto one side of these assemblers uh the assemblers are set up like this and they come together in the middle and put all of their goods into the middle just like so and then we'll take it over to here where it will go out under here now i've just risen this up over here so that we can bring our plates, our new uh, bolted plates, or whatever, what are they called? Come on, brain, you can do it. They're called reinforced iron plates. They can come straight out under here. And this factory is so close to being complete now. So what I'm going to do is get a bunch of these, power everything up. As you can see, these are all going in. Everything has 
plates going in, everything has screws going in. Okay, that's fine on this side. I just want to quickly check this side before we hook it up. What I think is going to happen is this is going to crash the power network, but uh, we will soon find out. Yes, plates, plates. Okay, like I said, it's crazy. So yeah, the, the screws come over the top there and the plates come around the bottom and through the splitters here. It's it's a bit insane, but you know it works. Okay, so let's uh, let's attempt to power these guys. Let's stick a hole there and there. Uh, that'll power that and that'll power that. Okay, cool. Let me get these hooked up in just a second. I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, here we go. We're hooking them up now. This one goes into here. That one's already got power. Okay, very good. This one goes to here. I try and make these the shortest lines possible. Yeah, that one's already got one. Okay, cool. So one last one, this one onto here. Okay, let's hope this doesn't crash the power network because everything's going to start working now. Everything that's been turned off for a while is all going to start working. So yeah, there's been a, a couple of like uh, smelters and everything that have been turned off for a while now while this was all held up because I couldn't make anything. But now we should be making these reinforced plates and we should be making... Um, how many is this making? They're making five per minute. Okay. So yeah, basically we're only making uh, 40 a minute, but that is a lot quicker than anywhere else that we were making them. And yeah, that is cool. So that is a lot better than before. So all I'm going to do is bring this out into a container for now. This is insanity. All of this work just to make some of this. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty insane. All right. That's going to go in there. Right, let's just place you over here somewhere. Right, let's uh, hope that goes in there. Okay, it does not. I don't know how, but I get the sides of these things mixed up for some reason. I think the colors mean different things or something. I honestly don't know. But that should be bringing them all out now, and we should be getting reinforced plates. Okay, that's it's held up a little bit, but it won't overall. We own, we're only making 40, so we only need to put the Mark 1 belts here. Well, guys, let's see what this looks like. Let's go up here for now. We've created an absolute monster here. Not like that monster. This monster. What the heck? I mean, there's a lot of spray painting to do, so I'm going to get on to that now. I want to make this all blue. It's going to be the blue factory. But then I think, guys, we need to build up walls and things to make this uh, a complete little factory. And as you can see, we've got all that going down there. So the walls need to come out this way just a little bit more to cover this all. What? What? What the heck, man? This game is actually insane. I didn't think it would be this complicated to set up a factory to make 40 of these a minute. And I think I'm using everything that I was making before. Yeah, that's absolutely insane, but that's cool. That is very cool indeed. Well, all right, let's get on to spray painting these damned things. So for this side of the building, guys, we are just going with that very similar pattern. What I'm gonna do is hopefully this is on blue. No, it's on white. So we'll shoot all the windows then. All of these windows are going white. Like so. It's very bright right now. Oh, I have B on still. I keep leaving my flashlight on during the day, guys. That's a problem. Um, right, let's shoot all of these windows white. And then we will go for the blue, which is this one. These two colors that I've selected for this build. Blue and white. Okay, so we shoot all of those. Make sure that's blue. So much blue to go on. So we have an, a door down the end here. This is the bottom floor, so... The top floor, I think, ends about here somewhere. Yo, oh yeah, you can see it above. It ends there, so that's cool. Uh, I think we're meant to shoot these white. There we go. Let's shoot that white, that one, and that one. Okay, that looks a lot better now. That looks really cool, actually. Oh, that one's blue. Silly. All right, that is looking cool. We've put a few of these in, in, in places, guys. I actually think what I'm going to do is remove these windows here as well. Just to make this look like a bigger panel. Sort of uh, holding everything up. Why won't you go there, my friend? Yeah, just go there. There we go. Let's go back to the gun and make it blue again. And there we go. Okay, this side of the building's looking pretty cool. I like it. I think we need to divide, divide these windows up a little more. We have a few little doors here as well. That needs to go blue. And we need to sort that side out so it doesn't... Yeah, upstairs comes out quite a bit this way. So we've got a lot of building to make this look like an actual building. But to be fair, my friends, from down here, it actually does kind of look like a building. Um, it's going to go taller, though, so we need to think of a roof design and stuff. I just I don't know what I really have um, in terms of that sort of stuff. So 
What I'm going to do is just try and get this bottom done first, and then we'll start working on the top. Oh, that's all of that. I'm running out of this again. Yeah, it is crazy. You, you use a lot of this stuff. A lot of this paint. Let's get you switch to white to make these windows go white. There we are. Looking cool. All right. Um, yeah, so this needs a... How did I get outside? That is insane. Uh, this bit needs its own roof on it. So I think we'll put a roof on it at about this height. Um, let's just go in here. Clicking all the wrong buttons, my friends. No, I don't want to do that. I want to put it above, but it's very hard to click on here. I'll put that all there. So from there, we need to make a roof. Probably just like a flat, a flat roof going along there. Let's see what sort of foundation type things we have. So we have the foundations here. I mean, our only option is this flat thing, or we can do something with some corners, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Do we have any cool walls that could do it? No. Uh, let's let's go have a look at the awesome sink real quick. It's down here. I know there is one down here anyway. There it is. So guys hanging out over here. I don't think I have enough coupons right now, but it could give us some ideas for later. I could save up for them and uh, finish it off that way. Let's see what we got in here. So there's more walls. And yeah, there's not a lot of cool foundations. These are kind of oh glass foundation. Three? Do I have three? I don't have them on me, do I? No, it looks like I've got zero. Add that to the cart. Try and buy them. Not enough coupons. Okay, I think I probably do have three coupons. It would be nice to have glass roof. To let some natural light in as well, so I don't have to put lights everywhere. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do with that. That'd be awesome. Okay, now I'm stuck down here and I. But yeah, I need to make a way to get up there with vehicles and all sorts of things. Alrighty guys, it's getting dark here, but I just thought I'd quickly show you. I built the fences. I bought the fences from the awesome uh, shop. And I also bought the glass foundations. Now, I've made it so people can't walk on them. Because there's this very impenetrable force uh, uh, fence here. Force, what am I on about? Uh, right, so we've got a lot of things to paint blue again up here. We are on the top floor this time. Uh, so that side over there is all done down the bottom there and I think I'll paint these fences white I suppose I think that'd be a good idea He's all white So yeah, oh what the heck did I just hit the window? Oh, to be fair that doesn't change anything. Okay, <laughs> fair enough um, Yeah, oh I've missed again. Oh my goodness white These are very hard to click on you gotta get very precise. You gotta wait till it highlights there we go. Okay, yes, anyway, let's paint all of these. You have a nice view of the whole world from up here. It's just a little place the workers can come and have a break, even though it would be quite difficult to get over here if you were a worker. But, you know, got a big door here. I just left it open. I didn't put any, like, actual doors in it because I wanted it to be too wide. And then, yeah, we need to start working on the roof. So I just thought I'd show you this little balcony thing I made. And uh, I'd show you how, how bad my aim is with this gun. Yep, that's it. Okay, anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Well, my friends, I think that's all we're going to do today. I have not filled in this side over here, and I have actually decided not to put a roof on the top floor for now because um, I think what I need to do is get a bunch of quartz and stuff so we can make lights and things. If I put a roof on there now, it's just going to be dark all of the time. But anyways, let's have a look from over here. You can see we have the rail up there. That's what I was showing you just before. Um, I've actually had to turn this off because that battery thing there was kind of powering us for a bit. And as soon as that ran out, everything shut down and i mean everything guys i had to disconnect this so next episode we'll have to invest in some more power um to get this big factory up and running and then i think we should start looking at what we need to upgrade to the next level in the uh the space elevator here so yeah we might actually quickly go do that in just a second but basically guys this is going to be the new level of the factory so all of this under here is all going to get covered up eventually and all these machines will come up on the top and there will be proper factories just like this one to build exactly what we need instead of this absolute mess we have down here where it's just like belts going everywhere not nice angles everything's sort of set up you don't know what's going on in here it'll be a lot more organized but anyways i think this is looking pretty cool up here guys so i'm gonna fly up here you can see looking very factory like and we're gonna run out of power but uh yeah we have our little balcony up here like i said that comes in here and I've put um, glass windows all the way around on the top level there, the bottom level there, the top level there. And on this side, we're pretty much flat. Uh, there's no windows on this side. So, yeah, it's looking pretty cool, actually. 
Uh, let's uh, let's jump down below if we can. We'll have to go over here. These windows here look really cool from down below. So let's jump in through the door here. Oh, I just landed on the ledge there. Uh, yeah, as you can see, everything is shut down in here. But these look really cool from in here. Like if you're just over here, for instance, and you're looking through the factory, we have a lot more space in here to do with the third uh, miner there. So that would be pretty cool. But yeah, they look really good. They bring light in. And yeah, they're nice, but unfortunately this is all a factory above this, so we can't really put any more of these in. It would look silly. But yeah, that's looking pretty cool. So I think we may have to ex expand out in this direction over here. So for now I have left this, but uh, yeah, it's all looking pretty snazzy, my friends. So we might go down a layer or two to the next factory so we're not all on one level but the new ground level is up here and that's pretty much what i've seen other people do they just cover up the landscape <laughs> unfortunately that's uh kind of how it works in this game but yeah anyways guys i think that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed it please hit that like button my friends and i'll see you guys in the very next episode